Hey everybody, Sean here, Boosted Miata. I'm up at my brother's shop and I'm working on the Boosted Miata. And as you can see, I have a new bumper, bumper cover I should say, and she's getting some upgrades, something I've wanted to do to this Miata since I had it. And I'll show you that pretty soon. So come on, let's do this. So up in my brother's shop, this is my brother Tim's car, my other brother. Uh, he is working on his Fiat X19 VTEC powered Mota. And if you guys remember, we did a video with his previous build. He had another X19, it was a red one, that he had uh, pretty much done the same deal. Uh, that was version one, this is version two. Uh, he's making some changes to this car to give it a little more power and a little more drivability and to work on some of the cooling issues he faced last time. How's it going, brother? It's going good. How you doing there, Sean? I'm good, brother. <clears throat> so what are we doing here? What's happening? Trying to reroute the intercooler tubing. Yeah. I had a pretty good setup before. Mark, the doctor, as you Dr. call him. Dr. Mark, our other brother. He had this laying around. This is funky old welded two inch. -ish. Yeah, a little small, two, huh? A little small. Um, I liked it, but the problem is it's not allowing me to get the right bend. And quite right. frankly, I'm, I'm adding just so many junctions, silicon junctions here, that I just think it's kind of silly. So I, the plan today is to mock up the right shape and design, mm -hmm. send it over to Chris over at Art of Arc and have him weld me a solid piece from this flex joint all the way down to this flex joint here yeah, yeah. the supercharger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also have him weld in a bunge for the blow-off valve or the recirculation valve. The recirc, yeah. Have in here. Right, right. Um, so you're gonna kind of get go as solid pipe as possible with as few pieces of... Uh, it looks better. Yeah, yeah, for and sure. less failure points. Yeah. Uh, these things don't fail too often, but yeah, Sometimes just, the real thin ones I notice they will collapse if I have too oh, much space. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm going off and on the throttle a lot, and if the opening and closing the uh, throttle body causing the back forth back force from the boost, I watch some flex. So I'd rather get one solid piece. I'm sure everyone would agree it'll probably look a lot better. Yeah, for sure. So. Well, that's pretty good. So we got the Rotec Rotrex blower back on. So this is the one from the last motor, right? It's the same model, yeah. Same model. Yeah. And uh, so this is going to put out, I mean, this whole setup. So this is a stock K24, right? This is a stock K20Z1. So this is K20. off of the later model RSX. Right, right. It's good for about 210, I think is what they were stock. Right. However, with the modifications we made to the throttle body, or yeah. I'm sorry, the intake manifold, oh, yeah. the bigger throttle body that we have on there, uh -huh. I expect to make a lot more power than we did with the last one. Yeah. And so this is going to add probably another 100 plus. So all told, you got a little package there that's capable of like yeah. 300 horsepower roughly. So quick sp sp yeah. review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stock internals. Yes. 1,000 cc injectors. Right. The uh, 73 millimeter uh, skunk two intake, or I'm sorry, throttle body. Yeah. With the ported intake manifold that is stock. That's the... Uh, Stock RSX manifold, right. again, like I said, I think we did some good stuff to it. High flow, fuel pump, and what's not here, and we'll probably maybe do a video a little bit later when I put it all together, this is where the intercooler system is gonna go, the air to water intercooling right. for the uh, super. And what it normally go, this is just the trunk, right, normally? This is a normal rear boot. Mm -hmm. Cut out the center because there was a lot of rust. Yeah. Putting some really strong heat shield in there because I did notice it gets really hot with this exhaust system yeah. that we have on. Then it'll more or less be opened up and really just used for the cooling of the air to water intercooler. Right. So the way you're cooling this is you got an air to water intercooler right. so versus just an right. so if air, you look down here, air to air. These two lines here are going to run yeah. cold water. Right. From an ice box and an, a radiator, essentially, gets pumped into the intercooler. You can see the right. line right down here. Uh -huh. And flows back around. So giving it a constant cooling of the air. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can see the fins inside. Yeah. Right. So I ran one of these on the other car. It was much smaller. 
So I could not get the temps too far below ambient. It was somewhere like 10 degrees above ambient, which even though it was consistent, it just always seemed a little high. Yeah. With this setup, I think- The cooler, the better, cool. right? For and with the ice intake box, charge. For runs, for drag racing, whatever, it'll be uh, yeah. much, much cooler. Cool, cool. So this uh, Fiat, you'll notice is a wide body. So that is called a Delara kit. So explain what Delara, what the Delara kit is. It's just a, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. The Delara kit is a wide body kit that right. was made to match kind of a tribute of the Delara racing teams. Okay. Original back in the mid seventies, I believe. Right. This Delara, who was a pretty well-known racing team company, whatever, out in Europe, started racing the X19. Now this is a very modest shape or width of the kit. Right. I think the original Delara was probably about four or five inches wider per side. Right. So this thing adds a crazy aggressiveness to the car that pretty, pretty cool. I wasn't a huge fan when I first saw them on the street. Well, I think it looks pretty but cool. I think the right color with it's black. I saw a really nice one that's like a silver. I gray. mean, compared to a stock X19, and I just think they look so much better than just over fender bolt ons, you know? Yeah. They're just molded. Into the so is this actually molded into the original body? Like there's like a so this kit I didn't put this one on myself. I yeah, the car like this. The person had molded it right on using rivets. Oh, okay. Um, they did a pretty good job of hiding them, but I noticed since this paint has sealed and settled. And yeah, you can actually start yeah. seeing the. See them. So I'll, I'll, get I oh yeah I see oh yeah I see some you can kind of see okay. a little. Yeah, wow. Okay, I don't like it as much anymore. Um, it just happens. Even the best. Now it looks guy good, brother. Is gonna have that problem years later. So we'll you did a good ahead. job not yes. doing anything. Very cool. Thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome for that. Sure. Thank you. All right, so it's been a couple days since uh, we last shot that video up at my brother's shop and I just wanted to show you what I've been working on for the boosted Miata. I told you I had a bit of a surprise and that is I've got the car all repaired. The front is all done and you'll notice now that it has the Mazda Speed front lip, the spoiler from the Mazda Speed. That's actually the Mazda Speed bumper and front lip. That's all part of the same package because you need the special bumper to go with that lip because it has special holes just for that, that lip. I like it. I don't think it looks quite as cool as the original lip I had, which was not available new anymore. Those lips are only available used and they were a special appearance package that dealers put on. Uh, so a few dealers still had some in stock, uh, but you can't find them anymore. So that's why I didn't go with that. I didn't want to put anything you found used look like crap because they get really beat up. But it looks pretty good, this Mazda Speed version. The other thing I like about it, it isn't as low. So I noticed coming out of my driveway this morning, I wasn't scraping, which is great because uh, that other spoiler I had would scrape quite a bit. So that's great. I love it. Um, it looks good. You'll notice that it's a like a gray. I think that's the Shinsen. Shinsen Gray that was available for the Mazda Speed. That's what Mazda Speed in Los Angeles or wherever they are, Southern California, that's what they stock, just that color for this lip. They don't have it in any other color. And so if you get this lip and you want to paint it, great. If not, go for it. And that's what I decided to do is just go for it and use it as that gray color. And I think it looks good. It's kind of got a, a two-tone effect. So pretty happy about that. And then on the back, I got the Mazda Speed rear bumper. So that's a whole new bumper on the back with the Mazda Speed diffuser. So that is the diffuser off the Mazda Speed. It requires a special rear bumper as well because of all the holes that it needs to line up on. I like it a lot. Uh, I've always liked that look from the rear. I always thought the Miata's really benefited from a rear spoiler. It kind of fills in the opening, which allows the muffler to be seen. So with this rear diffuser dropping down a little bit, it kind of hides the muffler. And I really like that. It's a clean, clean look. So really pleased with how that came out. In terms of the paint 
on the rear bumper and the front bumper actually. It's hard to tell right now, it's kind of dirty and we're in the sunlight and of course you're watching a video. Uh, the paint isn't 100% matched. I'd say it's probably closer to like a 90% match, maybe even 85%. Now that I've had it out in the sunlight and I think the paint's cured, uh, maybe it's darkened a little bit. When I first got it, it really looked bright and actually looked too bright for the rest of the car. And now that it's on the car, it's actually looking a little grayer, I should say. A little more gray in it. Maybe that's because it's got a little less metallic going on. The metallic density, if you can see there, might be a little less. Not sure what's going on. So a little disappointed in the color match. Um, not a deal breaker though. I think I can live with it for now. I'm just gonna kind of let it grow on me, see how it goes. And then, you know, maybe one day I'll get the car all resprayed. Cause I think at some point, if I hang on to this thing and keep it together long enough, it's probably gonna need a respray. So that is the boosted Miata update. Everything's done, the suspension's been repaired. The doc, my brother Mark, the doctor, he took care of the suspension for me. It's all dialed in, so I'm really pleased. It drives great. Got a little bit of a squeak. I think the rear sway bar is squeaking on me, so I probably have to lube the bushings. But uh, yeah, still need to put the Mazda logo on the nose. And the one thing I'll probably do, because I just like the look, is probably just leave all the badging off the rear bumper, the uh, Miata badging off of there. It has a Miata badging, I think it has MX-5 badging. Uh, this bumper didn't come with the holes for those because this is the Mazda Speed bumper. And I think on the Mazda Speed, all the badging's up here. So yeah, so I, I like that clean look. I think I'm gonna leave that just as it is. It looks pretty clean. Got the little Hoover Speed emblem sticker right there, which is good enough for me. So there you go, there's the update. There's my, my drama finally taken care of. The car is looking good. Um, now I just have some mechanicals to work on. Still sorting out the turbo, still need to get it on the dyno. Oh, just quick update. My brother and his Fiat X19 uh, I had to cut that visit short when we were up there the other day, but he shot some video of the work he got done and he got a lot done on that thing. And I'll just show that here. And you can see that he's got that, that intercooler setup pretty much dialed in. He also fitted a uh, oil cooler in the rear of that Fiat. He cut out a panel to make that happen. And it's looking pretty good. So he and I are gonna have a little dyno duel pretty soon. We'll probably go against each other on the dyno up at my brother's shop in the near future and maybe do some other cool things, turbo versus supercharger. So we talked about that supercharger on that thing and he's looking, I think he's actually looking to get near 400 wheel horsepower on that. I don't know if that's possible, but we'll see. Anyway, guys. That's gonna do it for now. More updates to come. Keep an eye on my channel. I know I haven't been posting many videos lately, but I plan on getting back into it a little bit. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Appreciate your comments below. If you wanna leave a few, let me know what you think. I'd appreciate your feedback. In the meantime, take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.